All Good right. evening, Princess Jason Jerry Poo -poo. here. Bob <laughs> here. And, and we have Seth from How Bangers and Mash. How are you? Excellent, thank you. How are you? Fabulous. Always so. good to be here. Oh, of course. I say it like I'm here every week. Oh, so well, you're here, here enough. <laughs> you're here enough. You've been here before. It's a repeat visit. You're yeah. a repeat offender. I'm a repeat offender. That's awesome. So they talk say to I'm me. an offender. <laughs> you're um, offensive? Is that I am what? offensive. No, you're not. Uh, last time I was here, I did not come bearing gifts because uh -oh. it oh. was short notice. I don't have one for you tonight because I didn't realize that uh, I, that had, I had to bring. No, it's uh, so it's normally, <laughs> and the guys in the band can tell you that we're very, um, we're particular with our merchandise. Frugal? S so, frugal. No, no, not so, <laughs> actually not so frugal, but very particular. And so if we weren't on air, I would make sure this is custom fitted for you. Um. But... Uh, it is the Bangers and Mash Ladies Tank. Yeah, Ooh. baby. And uh, I get swag again. So she gets swag again. I get although swag. Obviously better on you than on me. <laughs> this is the new Bangers and Mash Patty's Day New York City shirt. Nice. Because I'm going to just be a, a, a whore while I'm sitting here. I hope it goes uh, to the parade. Everything is available on bangersandmashband.com. Oh, okay. Uh... Yeah. Boy, I came right out of the gate. <laughs> right out of the gate. <laughs> right out of the, the gate with the promo, of course. That's what you got to do. But it's our, this is our season. This is the, yeah. you know, this I is guess the, big season. the high holidays for the, the, high holiday. for the Irish. <laughs> <laughs> uh, That's guess. the high holiday. What, what day is that again? Is that March the 17th? 17th? This year it's on March 17th. Okay. What day is that? Monday? Uh, it's a, uh, oh, now you're getting complicated. Really, Chavs? You totally confused me. I think it's a. Huh. I don't know what it is. <laughs> As we all glance down, da, da, da. I think it is a Tuesday. Tuesday. It is a Tuesday. Tuesday. Um, and we will be. Uh, we have a ton of dates coming up, obviously. Uh, somewhere Bobby has the slide. I didn't think we would. I didn't plan <laughs> on jumping right in with that. Um, you but, did. You but did. I did. You went I'm there. Sorry. You went I'm there. Sorry. You went there. I did go there. That's okay, though. Um, what do you have coming up since we're talking about it? So we, um, we, and I probably should have given him some acoustic videos as well. But we, uh, right here in Belmore, we do a a great, great Wednesday night Irish session, first Wednesday of the month. Um, we do a Suffolk County Irish session last Sunday of the month, and that's at um, Fulton's Gate yeah, in Patchogue. Yeah, I saw that. I couldn't make the last one, so hopefully So this much one. fun. So well, much fun. I would um, love to see that. This <laughs> Saturday night, I believe we are at uh, the Third Rail in Belmore. Okay. Um, right by the train station, so people can jump on a train. They don't have to, uh, they don't have to worry about driving. Good oh, in case you drink, right? Well, I, we're an Irish band, so we do the occasional toast. People have the occasional <laughs> cocktail. Um, yeah, there's a, there's a, a fair amount of drinking. But Just a fair amount? A fair amount. Excessive? Um, yeah, I, I would, yeah, I would say sometimes excessive. Yeah. But it's the high holiday season. The high holiday, so I love it. So you have to keep that in mind. Uh, we do... Um, I hope Past is not watching. He'll be like, that's not the high holiday. Uh-oh. I don't <laughs> want to. Uh, um, I love him, though. I, I know that we have, uh, you know, we, we play from Maine to Key West. Oh, wow. Um, we play the big Irish festivals, Cleveland, uh, um, Milwaukee, Port St. Lucie, yeah, Jersey City, oh, uh, Far Rockaway, Yonkers. That's oh, Rockaway. the one that we got to go to is Far Rockaway. That was, They're crazy that was a over ton there. of fun. They're There's a photo it somewhere. Uh, no. no, no. You say you're with Bangers and Mesh. Then you, you act like you're going to get coronavirus or something. You, oh, <laughs> I think that could be the thing. If you walked around with a, a face mask on. I think yeah, if you walked I, I around with enough alcohol like in you. No, it's... it's uh, you know, the area is on the upswing, first of all. It's, it's a highly desirable area. Um, it's by the water. It's, it's, that's a great, great festival. Um, and festival. We, we have, 
we just have so much coming up. Um, we start Florida, I think, maybe Jan. Uh, I'm sorry, maybe March fifth, and we're down there until like the eighteenth, nineteenth, and then we're back here. I love it. And playing the twentieth in uh, in Belmore, the twenty first in Lindenhurst. So it's 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 a full schedule. It's a wow. pretty full schedule. Now, how do you do this in between, like working and stuff? So I'm very fortunate because I work for the New York City Department of Health, and hopefully my boss isn't watching because she'll be <laughs> like, oh. um, "Last year we did. I did have to uh, take one of the Florida trips unpaid because, yeah, you know, you, you run out of a vacation finite time. amount of of time." Um, so it worked out very well, but, uh, but, you know, ideally it's most of the travel is weekends. Florida, um, Seth and Carol Lesselbaum, the bass player and singer, and I don't know why I did that for a bass player. Um, <laughs> they... Is that your next venture? That, no, no, that's, that's, I, I have a gorgeous bass. I can't play it. I have a beautiful Mexican strat. I don't... <laughs> Three chords. You gotta love it. But in fairness, I've only had it for probably ten years. So three chords. It's, it's only, only ten years. It's a chord every three or four years. I feel like that's. Uh, there you go. So, um, but yeah. So they have a place down there that we base ourselves out of, and then when we hit all the surrounding areas, uh, you know, we're covered. If, it, if we're playing on the Gulf Coast, we stay in hotels. If we're playing. Anywhere, you know, weird, remote, remote, to, remote, to remote, to, remote to where you are staying. Then you just go back to base. We do have, um, we do have a great, great place down in El Jobin um, when we play down there, and it is there's a radio station which I wish I could remember the call letters because I'd give them a shout out. I'm sorry about that. Uh, WP Radio. Um, it's it's W -A -A -A. and <laughs> and we stay in like a a carnival house and we heard all kinds of stories and El Jobin was like a circus town and a there was a guy house. uh suicide simon from el jobin was a daredevil it's really it's a really cool tiny little town it's on the water by uh i think by port charlotte and it's just so rich with history so when we went to stay at the house the first night um the the guys from the radio station were telling us that the house uh you know, people say it's I haunted. Guess, yeah, haunted is the word. So I was yeah, like, I'm out. Uh -oh. I, I'm out. I, I no, was I really like, want to see it. I want to know. I it. said, no, I'll see it, but I'm not going to stay there. I said, yeah, you know, I don't, I don't buy into that. And he he looked at me, and the guy's name is R.J., great guy, and he says, you know, buy into it. And I said, oh, stop it. And we had a few drinks and. I went to my room and I lay down on the bed and everyone went to their rooms and the house was super quiet, gorgeous Florida night. And oh, here we go. <laughs> all of a sudden, the, my mattress was like lifted up on its side and I shit you not, I was thrown across the room. And uh, and my first reaction was, "Hey, I didn't mean to say anything that offended you." Um, it was it was pretty terrifying. And uh, when I was telling everyone the story, Carol kind of rolled her eyes, and you know, my mother would say she poo pooed me. And then she was walking back to her room. And all of a sudden, she goes flying, and she said, "Who just tripped me?" <laughs> and I was like, "Oh, I, I, what do you, what do you bring a ghost? Like, what do, should I have brought? Candy? Should I have brought, you know, wine? I don't know <laughs> what sage. Should I open the window. window. It was like <laughs> so. Uh, so depends on what kind of ghost he is. So when we were down there this year, I was like, 
I walked in and I'm like, hi, I love everyone here. <laughs> I'm very happy to be here. I was terrified, absolutely terrified. I lay in bed like most of the night kind of looking around. And then your mind is like, hey, that Too coffee active. cup wasn't that there, was it? it uh, yeah, moved. the coffee cup moved. <laughs> hey, what? Uh, wait, wait, out. the big question, are you a believer now? Um, yeah, I think I am. I think I am. What, there's nothing going to jump out and throw me out of my chair? Is that, like on the Ellen show? I don't know. Maybe, <laughs> maybe me and Dave. It was, it was, <laughs> oh, you know, it was kind of scary. guess and just throw him out? <laughs> Technical him difficulty. <laughs> <laughs> We're horrible. Too funny. Oh, wow. No. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. Yeah, it was, uh, I mean, some of the road stories, I, I say that I would like to have someone... Because everyone, like, you know, Seth is uh, a real estate manager. Carol's in real estate. Liam is in the in the craft beer bar business. Wow. So, like, everyone, uh, Chloe does uh, pretty much everything. She's like, she was, a, uh, you know, a, a deep sea fisherman. She ran a dude ranch. She was a cattle rustler, second story. She, the wow. fiddle player, she, she is like the adventurer so like we have you know normal day-to-day normal. -day lives and uh and, ghost. and then when we're on the road like i would love to just have a camera crew there filming us because it gets pretty ridiculous mm -hmm. and like you're with these people like a documentary or something yeah yeah, yeah. it would work i think it would work pay me i can get a camera really do you like I could Florida? just scare you. Do you like Florida in the winter? Yeah, I like Florida any damn time. I found a camera person for us. <laughs> Especially with this I weather. Go, oh, yeah, with my knees, please. I can't even walk anymore. I didn't say that on the end, did I? So you can just roll around in the chair with the camera. <laughs> could you imagine? Scooting around. <laughs> but there's some, like, yeah, it, it's interesting. Yeah. It's fun. It's a lot of oh, fun. Oh, yeah. Like, road trips are fun. I've, you know, done the band thing and everything, and... I could tell you some fun stories, man, <laughs> but we'll save that. But for not on time. camera. No, we'll save that for another time because this is all about you and your band, man. Bangers yeah. and mash. So, um, talk to me about some tunes. Um, anything um, new going so on? So we do have uh, we have a couple of new songs that are going to be on the the next CD. Uh, realistically, uh, it'll be out. You know. This Soon. well, some during a year, probably okay. Maybe Within this a year. year, this year, I think. Um, but we, <laughs> I love this we guy. had so a guy cool. tell us one night um, at a bar. I think it was in Tampa, and the guy was like, "You should do a song about just beer and music and." But isn't that all the Irish songs? <laughs> well, that's pretty much every Irish song, and uh, Seth. Like that night we went home and the next morning he's like freaking out because he wrote a song called Pint and a Piss. <laughs> Pint and and a piss. it is a great, great song. And uh, and unfortunately I was searching for a good, like nice audio copy. Audience participation, fun lyrics. Um, you'll laugh, you'll cry. It's like going to see cats. Just brings in all the emotions. Beautiful. But, uh, <laughs> but so we tell the story of how we came to that song, and it was suggested by someone. Uh, we have another song that'll be on the next CD called Patty on the Strand, which was written when we were in Patty Key West playing because Liam and Seth uh, went into a bar. There's two sets in the band. Oh, yeah, we're the only Irish band with two, guy, two Jewish guys named Seth. <laughs> <laughs> so that's our claim to fame. Wow. But, um, two thieves and the Irish. That's it. <laughs> wow. That's it. So Liam is like the uh, Liam is like the the token in the band. In the Irish Does he got the Irish accent? The the Irish guy is the token. He's the uh, you know the the Irish hire, I guess. Oh wow. So um, but so they went into a bar, um, you know, coming from a bar and going to a bar. And they uh, were talking to the bartender, and he was from Dublin. 
And so they wrote a song called Patty on the Strand about a guy who comes over here and just do Patty you know, on the Strip, leaves, uh, like a stripper song. Hmm. <laughs> that would be oh. something I would write. <laughs> they uh, they actually oh since I was here last it's a kind of a big deal. They uh, they now give me a microphone because there was that profanity issue, so I couldn't uh, have a microphone because I have self control issues and I. <laughs> say things that I see in the pop. So now I have a microphone. Um, so it's tough because now I have to like not say whatever comes to mind. That's horrible. So. Well, that's like at work. It's like being a grown up. I know. It's Isn't it cool awful? Though. Nah, it's kind of cool because now I get to sing, um, which is good. We did have uh, a, a, and then, uh, and then, it's a good lead in for the promo. We had a gig at the uh, at the Village Lantern because you need an Irish band with two Jews named Seth playing at a German restaurant <laughs> in Lindenhurst. Makes perfect sense. It makes sense. And only you. And uh, and Liam had that terrible flu that everyone had. <gasps> oh. And like in all the years I've known him, he's never missed a gig. Like he. And he said, I, I physically cannot come. Wow. So I said to Seth, eh, screw it, we got him covered. And Seth's like, no worries, no worries. And I can tell you, uh, when I saw him the next week, I said, oh my God, that whole talking stuff is so much harder. Because <laughs> it just, when you're sitting and playing drums so and you singing, have to do an accent? all of the whole, no, he's like, He's just so good on the mic and all of his banter and everything. And so a song would end and everyone would kind of look at either me or Seth. And then we would try to say what Liam says, but it wasn't as good. Even if it was the same thing, I'm like, that delivery sucks. <laughs> it, was, it was tough. It was tough. Wow. So you mentioned the promo. Shall we roll the promo? I would love to roll. Let's roll the promo. Here we go. I heard a voice. <laughs> like the Jamaican. Uh... <laughs> sure, why not? We could be anything that yeah, you want. I could do Irish works. all night if you want. Oh, go ahead. Oh, go ahead. Um, oh. oh, thank you. <laughs> Poor Seth. Seth I'm you. like, I don't, so do, I don't do Irish. Why not? Um, I don't even know what mine is. Everybody keeps on telling me it's probably like Australian. I'm like, how the hell did I get that? Could be Australian. Yeah, because it's a little on the gruffier. Must be your animal spirit. But I feel like then if you sang you'd still sound American. Oh, you don't even want to hear me sing. Like, that's how you sing. <laughs> who's the Australian guy who's married to, the Austro married to Nicole Kidman? Oh. oh, right, you guys suck at country music. It's someone country. <laughs> well, whoever it is. Tom McGraw? No, oh. no, he's from Oklahoma City. Fucking um, Tim. <laughs> well, you know. Well, so whoever that guy is, maybe Keith Urban? Is he Australian? Keith Urban. Oh, don't know. <laughs> Let's say Keith Urban. Um, you want me to Google it? Gotta Google it. <laughs> so you could Google it. Uh, 
Yeah, so that's our, our generic promo. Um, there are uh, there are some really uh, kind of cool, like I I try to to say right. we're more. Am I right? Yeah, you're right. Say that ahead of what was now. Wow, that guy's a good singer, though. Yeah. Keith Urban, yeah. And his wife was wonderful in Days of Thunder. She was the nurse after Tom Cruise. He falls in love. It was beautiful. It was beautiful. That's it brings a tear driving. to your eye. I think eye. I'm crying. It brings that. a tear to his eye. But, uh, but... I thought she was getting Batman. <laughs> was she in Batman? I thought she was. I don't know. Wasn't she with, um, the I first one? I just got a TV in my room, so just leave me, <laughs> right, right. me out of she this. Next to the Victrola, she has a television. So it's Who told you about that? <laughs> So, um... Who are you talking to? Him? <laughs> <laughs> you were talking to him before the show. I was not. I was not. <laughs> I'm picking on me. I live in the dark ages. Oh, it's it. all good. It's all good. How's your VCR? What the hell is that? Video cassette player? <laughs> Video yeah, cassette player. Right. Yeah, sure. Oh, yeah, that's what it is. <laughs> yeah, but I have a storage oh, unit filled with uh, all, like all the electronics from over the years that are probably worth nothing. Nothing. Um, nothing. I have a ton of LPs, a ton of CDs, and my kids are like, Daddy, just tell us that stuff. No. Like, what do you, I'm like, no, 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 no do you know no, what this no. is? They're like, Ugh. No, you There's do not just There's some hungry rich person that wants it, trust me. Well, hopefully. You never know what's out yeah. there. That could be my retirement. Oh, Tracy said uh, Keith Urban. Tracy? Oh, Tracy, you are correct, Keith Urban. You are da -da 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 -da. correct. And you win. <laughs> you win. <laughs> Zero. No, no. You get a uh, collector's edition. Okay. Uh, now we're giving and away stuff. And a signed copy. Right? Whisper Valley. Uh, yeah, you guys can, yeah, you'll sign that. She probably has it <laughs> no, 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 she probably, she <laughs> does have it. Um, <laughs> How do I sign this guy's so name? Just, just give me the Liam problem. with a capital L. It's okay, Liam that's all. Uh, yeah, so we are... Uh, it's very funny because I read a post and I wanted to bring this up because because <laughs> of the season. This is the season where like every band becomes an Irish band because uh. of St. Patrick's Day, and like seriously, if if a venue hasn't booked a band yet for St. Patrick's Day, you know you're not getting really. There aren't that many Irish bands out there, so. This is when everyone in Bangers and Mash, our our message box blows up. Mm -hmm. Hey, are you guys available St. Patrick's Day? Which mm. we're booked, I think, through 2025. But, uh, I mean, and, well, and I'm always like, huh, I wonder if there's a way that we could logistically. Finagle? Which, of course, we're in Florida, so you can't uh, finagle. But uh, I'm getting phone, my phone doesn't ring all day. Now I'm getting phone calls. Well, speaking of, if anybody wants to call in, 516-945-9099, Bob? 945-9099. Okay, Bob, I hear there Jesus. you go. I hear Jesus. <laughs> oh, look, there's a. That's uh, the master of the mix board behind the wall. I'm going to wow. call in. Wow, yeah. behind the curtain. <laughs> That's <laughs> pay no attention to the man behind the curtain. <laughs> so um, watch all of a sudden the lights start flickering, exactly, green smoke comes exactly. pouring in. <laughs> um, let's go to a commercial break and we'll be right back and we'll take some calls. Awesome commercial. <laughs> oh, pay some bills, right? That's what pay some bills. That's what they say. Yeah, got it. ALJ Service Center, twenty one hundred Belmore Avenue in Belmore. Ray and the crew have an outstanding reputation in the Belmore community, built by hard work, honesty, and professionalism. ALJ specializes in computer diagnostics for today's modern automobiles. Whether it's domestic or foreign, ALJ assures your vehicle is at peak performance when it leaves. ALJ also offers expert restoration and repair on vehicles as well as antique, classic, and muscle cars. Call ALJ for your automotive needs, 516-409-4433. Once again, that number is 
This is Jerry Ann Casola. She has just finished working on a collection of short stories about the love and joy rescue animals can bring. Each chapter contains a message about how people should and could be kinder to animals. The book is rated G, meaning family friendly. To order Life in the Pits, send $13 to paypal.me slash Jerrianne Casola. Pit of Our Souls, a nonprofit animal rescue that deals primarily with pit bulls but will never turn away any dog, no matter what breed or size. Their primary focus is not only to rescue and rehome those in need, but to educate and rehabilitate to prevent the cycle from continuing. Pit of Our Souls offers boarding, training, and as much assistance as possible to those in need. Call Pit of Our Souls, 516-308-6221, or check out their website, www.pitofoursoulsrescue.com. And we're back with Seth Chasing from Bangers and Mesh. So, um... I was going to ask you, what is like one of the wildest things that ever happened? So, <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm so, horrible with that question, but it's my favorite. Well, first I'll give you a real quick funny one that was <laughs> just uh, that was last week at Fulton's Gate. Um, uh, our dear friend Mike O'Connor, who has a great podcast, uh, Some Good Crack Radio. C-R-A-I-C. Oh, it's on the back of this shirt, actually. <laughs> um, he's the one who wrote the song he co-wrote, Patty's Day, New York City. Okay. Uh, so he wanted to sing one of his new songs at the session at Fulton's Gate. And he sat down um, kind of where I usually sit next to Liam, and I moved a little bit to the side. And I bring just a cajon and I bring a snare drum that I throw a towel on. It kind of gives a cool sound, kind of like a, like a pipe and drum type sound. And a couple of girls walk in and I look over and I smile. And uh, He's so cute. I, I did that guy. head tilt like, I, like I'm a dog looking for the ball oh, that wasn't really oh, thrown. Oh. <laughs> and, uh, and the girl kind of looks at me and smiles and just walks around behind me and started massaging my shoulders. Did and, you get a phone number? And Mike O'Connor looks at me and he says, how does that happen? And I said, I don't know if I knew. Did you I, get her phone number? I did number? not. Yeah. I did not. That session, actually, now that I'm thinking of it, uh, a couple of weeks ago we had the... Phone number. Oh, probably, <laughs> it's more than a couple of weeks, probably two months ago. Um, a girl came in, gorgeous, comes over, sits down, and she's like, I want to play the drum. <laughs> and I said, uh, well, you know, private instruction is not only available, but it's encouraged. So <laughs> Liam gave her like a shaky egg. Uh, I've never seen a human being devoid of any rhythmic sense um, <laughs> at all. And... She also, I think, was insane. I think the clinical term was that she was insane. Did um, you get her phone number? <laughs> you kidding? We went out a few times. Oh. Um, and then when, when I went to rehearsal, I'm like, oh, my God. I'm going to have to guide this guy. I now. went out with uh, that chick from the, from the session, and the rest of the band was like, that insane girl? <laughs> nice. Well, insane's a very strong word. Uh, you know, she was lovely, um, but she, they, insane was, she was lovely? accurate. Lovely. Lovely. Ins oh, she was insane, cute. insanely lovely. Was she oh. cuckoo for Coco Pops? She was cuckoo. For Coco Pops? Um, so we were she in Florida. I feel like all the <laughs> wacky stories have me as the kind of focal point. I can't uh, imagine why. That's fucked up. I um, can't imagine why, Seth. So a young lady bought a t-shirt and asked us to sign it. And it's a great, uh, oh, I'm sorry, I keep hitting the mic. It's a great uh, baseball t-shirt. It's like white with green sleeves and it says bangers and mash, like the old style baseball jerseys. Oh, that's cool. And she asked if we would sign it. 
And so everyone's like, yeah. So people like signing, you know, the sleeve and the right under where it says bangers. And so, uh, so Liam hands me the Sharpie and he says, behave yourself. <laughs> I can't imagine. And I was looking at this young lady and I'm like, I know where I want to sign. I know where I want to sign. But I don't want you to take this the wrong way. And she said, uh, Go right ahead. That's what she said. <laughs> and I said, Don't worry, I, uh, I studied cardiology in my spare time. <laughs> and I proceeded to sign, you know, right around the. The uh, bosom area? The boob. I was going to say the S in bangers. Cause, oh, Because I'm not a filthy pervert like you. But, oh. So I signed by the <laughs> S in bangers. And, uh, and then when we got home from the gig, they were like, 20 photos on Facebook from every angle <laughs> of me signing this girl's t-shirt uh, and I was like huh you know my at the time my mother was still alive I'm like I don't want my mother to see this and oh I hope she's not on Facebook it was uh, it was you know but again it was you give the fans what they want that's they want right an autograph you give an autograph Okay. Um, so, uh, like I was saying about Mike O'Connor, and I feel like I, I don't, I'm scared to get up to show the back of the shirt. But show, I'm get up it, and show I, it. I don't want you looking at my hiding with this. Well, don't worry. All right. So, uh, some good back. crack. Can you read it? Is it readable? It says, bangers and mash, some good crack. C R A I C crack. So crack. and by the way, crack all the, the, the photos you're gonna see and oh, and the that. video for Patty's Day New York City, um, these were taken by Mike O'Connor, the lovely Mike O'Connor. Pants or no pants. <laughs> pants or no pants. I'm coming Ooh. to the party. Um, so Mike O'Connor, yeah. This is uh, oh that was uh, one of the Irish fests. That was. Uh, Oh, and shout out to, to Dario, to Evans Drumheads, Soul Tone Cymbals, HB Drums and Percussion. My bass drum looks like a NASCAR uh, car with all no, the logos. No, that's cool. This was, oh, this was just this past year at the Far Rockaway Irish Festival. Wow. Uh, great crowd. Um, lots of fun. Lots of fun. Uh, cold beer. They all, all these festivals have a lot of cold beer. Um, Who drinks warm beer? Uh, and these are our Florida dates, which I wish I could uh, see them. See what they were, because um, <laughs> those are. Uh, but so if you guys, you can like click and freeze frame, and then read all those dates. That's a lot of dates, uh, and usually I know them all by heart. Um, but you can not pull this it up time. on your phone. That's what I'm doing. I'm looking right, right now. And this way okay. I can sound all like... Uh, this guy. This guy. What are we going to do with this guy? You know, the phone, this is new technology for me. <laughs> so, Just uh, like me having a TV Wow, look at all room. these dates. I hope I don't have... Uh, I hope I don't have plans those nights. Oh, <laughs> hi, we're back. <laughs> oh, um, so... Uh, so, <laughs> Patty's Day New York City is... Uh, just actually made the list of the top 100 Irish songs. Very cool. Uh, which is pretty cool. And it's not like a bullshit list that I put together. If, it, if we did that, you know, it would be number three or, or two. But, uh, but we did make the top 100. And, uh, you know, Mike O'Connor did a great job. Um, for me, not coming from... Uh, you know, an Irish background. I grew up on the on the mean streets of Rockville Center. Um, mean streets of Rockville Center. Mean streets of Rockville Center. Uh, you know, privileged. It's still kind of mean. Privileged yeah, area. Okay. Yeah. You know, so it Russell was like and freaking people. Just, I know. It was uh, privileged. You know, well, you know, I wouldn't say pri Well, I would probably say privileged. Yeah, you would. They saw yeah. stuffed animals. Too. Yeah, it was. Yeah. Huh. Scary. Does he? Does he have something? He just speaks. Oh uh, yeah, like, he's great. It's fantastic. He's it's awesome. Fantastic. You don't, and we also don't know who he's going to be either at uh, times. So. Not great. <laughs> I feel like there's not. Uh, you know. 
I did a show one time, and not to get off the subject, but this guy started having his own show on the other side while I was talking to him. There the you go. There you go. Good times. Good times. That's right. If he brings a suitcase with puppets, be like, fuck this, I'm done. <laughs> no puppets. <laughs> Why are you afraid of puppets? No. <laughs> no, now I'm, a, now I'm a friend of the spirit since that oh, well. lady fucking assaulted me in, <laughs> in El Joe Bean. Um, so, uh, so, I guess the, uh, I did bring the video for Patty's Day New York City. Um, it's kind of cool um, to walk into a place. I'll give them a shout out. I walked into... Uh, MacArthur Park on Park and Maple in Rockville Center. It's on the corner right by the police station. Um, and <laughs> I walked in and Patty's Day New York City was playing on the jukebox. And I was like, holy shit, that's my song. Well, not my song, but Bangers and Miss. Well, not, you know, huh, that's, wow. <laughs> and, uh, and I walked up to the bar and he's like, can I help you? And I said, this is so cool. I'm in this band. And he's like, yeah, can I help you? And I said, uh, I said this, this is my band playing on the, on the jukebox. And, and he says, can I, would you like a beverage? And I said, uh, sure, give me a Miller Lite. This is my band. And he said, right, right. What a dick. Right. Oh. <laughs> and I was like, no, it really is. And then someone sitting at the end of the bar said, that kid plays drums for this band. And then he came over and he's like, oh, I thought you were just breaking my chops. I'm like, well, go away, peasant. I'm done with you. <laughs> <laughs> I have nothing to say. Wait, did you get a free beer or no? Um, yeah, I think the beer. second one might have been. Oh, okay. I think the second one. The second a little is, respect. A little. Yeah, a little. It wasn't Shall a ton of Shall we play the song? I would love to play this. Bob, can we play the song, please? Call them And Jesus. happy St. Patrick's Day to you wherever you may be. And this is the Queen of Avenues, the one day a year when the Big Apple becomes the Big Shamrock. Oh, yes. If you're watching this parade, I'd suggest you have one of these. Mm-hmm. No parade should be watched without it. And now let's look down the Queen of Avenues. And since 1851 on this St. Patrick's Day, they come up. Can you hear it now? There's Guinness, there's whiskey, there's lots of green beer. There's corned beef and cabbage, it's that time of year. There's bagpipes and kaleys and drunks on the train. If you think I'll be sober, you must be insane. As I was marching down Fifth Avenue, the wind blew my kilt up and gave her a view. She said, oh, but Jesus, that is a fine ass. Now what I expected from such a nice lass. The girl dressed in green had red curly hair. Me and my kilt with no underwear. She said, my name's Aaron from County Armagh. I said at her tits and said, Aaron, go bra. Patty said, New York City. Dressed in green, a girl so pretty, marching down that avenue. Head to the pub for a drink or two. I told her my name, she said, how do you do? She said she was thirsty and wanted a brew. I know a good place down on 33rd Street, where the Guinness is lovely and a game of syrup tea. So after six whiskeys and eight pints of stout, we mumbled and stumbled and found our way out To the streets of the city on St. Patrick's Day Head back to my place for a roll in the hay Patty said, New York City Dressed in green, a girl so pretty Marching down that avenue Head to the pub for a drink or two There's 
Christmas whiskey, there's lots of good beer. There's corned beef and cabbage, it's that time of year. There's pack five, ten Kaylees and drunks on the train. If you think I'll be sober, you're fucking insane. Patty's in New York City. I love that. Cool. I love that. And my foot is tapping away, and I want to dance and everything, you know? So when Mike O'Connor, uh, he called and said, you know, I posted the video, and we have, uh, it has like, you know, 80 views, 90 views, and it was only up for a couple of hours. I'm like, well, in all fairness, probably, you know, 50 of those were me just watching <laughs> it over and over. It, the coolest part is that um, the clips of the audiences oh. and the crowds. We have a call. Oh, what? Yeah, we got a call. How does this work? What are you doing? Hi, you're on Chasing Fruit Loops. How can we help you? Hello? Yeah, I was going to ask uh, Seth a question. Sure. No. No good? Next caller. Okay, next caller. No. <laughs> okay. Maybe he'll call back. We lost you somehow. I'm worried it was like that I owe the IRS money. <laughs> <laughs> They're suspending yes. my social security number or the warranty on my 2010 Ford Escape has expired. I get oh. a lot of that. Well, wow. they tried to suspend my social security number the other day. Yeah, I saw that on Facebook. And the what guy goes, oh, the guy just starts talking to me and I'm just like, he goes, can I have your number? I said, hold on, let me get my card. Like it was really important and everything. Like I was scared. <laughs> I go, my social security card says Q. He goes, that's impossible. I go, no, it's not impossible. I go, because Q is the universal question, answer to the question. And then I put a couple of profound words in it. Beep. <laughs> Cut I, always, I get the guy who's like all serious and says, uh, you know, I am, my, I am Skip Johnson from the IRS. I am Skip, Skip Johnson, Johnson from and the IRS. Like, I say, yeah. you, sound mm -hmm. like, uh, you sound like Gandhi. <laughs> you know? I am Timothy I, Albert. Yeah. <laughs> and then he's like, I need your, your social security number. I say, you're with the IRS. You must know my number. <laughs> so he's like, What's, I need your social security number. I, That's um, why everybody should own an air horn. Air horn's good. Air horn's good. Air horn is great. Yeah. Damn, the poor people who fall for it, though. Yeah, that's the problem. Well, that's what's problem. ridiculous. And they yeah. say, I just saw a thing on, on Fios 1 about some, like, elderly couple out in, in Northport that got, uh, or Eastport, that got, like, screwed out of... 80 grand or 90 grand from this and you say they need to find these people but they can't because they, they keep it's on all switching like numbers. offshore and this yep. and that and it like the the fake irs calls come from a 202 <laughs> number from a yeah. washington dc number so i'm like mm. oh my god you know that's so funny the irs calls me on my cell phone at 11 <laughs> at night <laughs> seems so odd um but it's always like uh you know this is very serious. Okay, I want to clear this up. How do I clear this up? Are you near a Target or a Walmart? <laughs> uh, sure. Well, okay, you can get gift cards. Oh, my God, you know, I was going to get the IRS a, a <laughs> gift card for Christmas. So I feel like this is very, uh, like, give me a break. But I guess people fall for it. Did you bring another song with you? Um, I did, uh, did I bring another? No, I don't think I did. You didn't bring another video? Uh, no. It's terrible. Uh, I was going to say, let's play another song. <laughs> <laughs> let's start dancing. I could give him the CD. <laughs> um, so again, there are, uh, 
check us out on Facebook. It's Bangers and Mash Band. Mm -hmm. uh, website's bangersandmashband.com, all one word. And there's a lot of cool, uh, my favorite two songs on the CD, on the current CD, are um, a song that's the opening track to the CD, Dunbar Slave, and it is a historical song about, um, about an Irish rebel, an Irish freedom fighter who was, was taken from his homeland and, and sold into slavery. And like the history of the Irish people, I knew nothing about when I joined this band. And now it's like, I just find it so interesting. Uh, we did a, um, a passing of the sash ceremony in Patchogue either last year or two years ago. And on the screen behind me, it was the, oh, it was 2017, because it was the 100th anniversary of the uprising um, fighting for Irish freedom. And on the screen behind me was, uh, were pictures of freedom fighters with the little bio. And of course it's shiny and bright and it's changing. So I'm like <laughs> trying to play drums while I'm trying to eat snacks, while I'm trying to see what's going on behind me. And uh, I wonder and if it, all drummers have these problems. I don't, I think it might be uh, an oh, issue. Yeah. I used to uh, bring what they call one up, two down. I brought, uh, there was one Tom Tom here and two Tom Toms here, but the second Tom Tom was never for playing. I would put a little, uh, checker cloth uh, bandana on it and I would have all my food on there. Like oh this God. is the, seriously the longest <laughs> I've gone without eating has been this, what are we, 50 minutes? And I think I'm hallucinating a little. Like this is normally... Is your blood sugar okay? My, should we talk about this? We should probably talk about <laughs> it. There's a doctor this out there who could me. call. I feel this guy's like. killing me. <laughs> but, um, but Seth turned to me one night and he said, you know, that's a drum. And I said, well, you see it as a drum. <laughs> I, see I see it, it as, as a, a snack tray. <laughs> and he was like, you drag that down just for food? And I said, uh, don't say it that way. Say you drag that down just for food. Um, <laughs> and he said, stop with that and no food while you're playing. And uh, so, I mean, he knows. I unwrap like Tootsie Rolls before we start and I'll leave them next to me. And uh, you know, a lot of lot of hard candies. Um, you better get your sugar checked, some dude. Gum. <laughs> no, it's good. It keeps me like, e you know. Oh, you e get that sugar high, yeah. and then you have like to I'm, play it out. Like I'm you have to play it old. out. Oh, wow, <laughs> ADD boy over Ooh. here. So when I was looking through the photos um, on the Bangers and Mash page, <laughs> I was like, wow. I guess it's all the sugar because there are photos where I look like I, I swam to the gig where I'm just like drenched <laughs> and uh, and like I'll go inside if we're playing outside I'll go inside to grab a beer on break and the bartender will say is it raining outside I'm like no no I have this thing where I'm you know sweating well all well, the drummers sweat so. yeah, well yeah. if yeah, I was mostly. Elvis I feel like it would that sweat would be worth a fortune sounds like work man no. Where I work? Oh, I don't sweat at work. I don't freaking bust that. So. <laughs> if you're her boss, she's <laughs> kidding. She works like an animal. She works. Oh yeah. Hard. Constantly running. Okay. So I, I do want. Uh, and, and on that note, can I just give a couple of the Florida dates? Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead. Florida people. Before we head to Florida, though, this weekend uh, we are in. Belmore on Saturday night at the third rail. Um, Johnny, what are you doing Saturday night? Uh, <coughs> going to the third rail. Okay. All right. Sunday, I think we're uh, in Massapequa. Oh, right around the corner. Huh. Ziggy's? 
Um, uh, no, I'm in the wrong thing. Events. Hold on. Uh, I'm new to this whole phone thing. Uh, oh, yes, Sunday we have an acoustic, a lovely acoustic show at the fabulous, I should probably reply that I'm going, at Johnny McGorry's Pub. I thought it's a um, Johnny McGooey's. It's also a Johnny McGooey's. That's, uh, that's my, my porno name is Johnny McGooey. Um, I'll be over here now. So, <laughs> And he put his hand on my knee. Did you see that? That's uh, The 23rd. That's yeah. That is great. I just made the hook up here. I'm using see three. that? See that? Love. <laughs> Exciting and new. Um, pass, <laughs> Love boat. Passing of the Sash is the 23rd uh, at Fulton's Gate, followed immediately afterwards by the Irish Session. Seriously, if Almost you've never been to an Irish Session... There's storytelling, there's jokes, there's music, everyone's welcome. Um, they don't really let me tell jokes or stories. I can't imagine why. why. So, and I have some that don't even have fucking curses. And they're still <laughs> like, no, no. Um, but uh, I have a lot of like priest, rabbi, hooker. Never mind. Never um, mind, because priest. we're almost out of time. Oh, no. Uh, let me just tell you, after that, I'm blah, squeezing blah, blah. Uh, We are in Greenport on the 28th. Uh, the M Suffolk County, this is a great thing. The sub, well, they're all great, but this is like a great thing. Suffolk County Firefighters Emerald Society Fundraiser is February 29th, and it's a Saturday. It is at... Uh, Brody McKay's in Selden, and you know it's it's you're helping out the Suffolk County firefighters. Um, you know, if there were no firefighters, oof, uh, there'd be no Irish stuff. Yeah, I feel like uh, and no fires. Well, there would be fires. <laughs> there'd be a lot of burning going on. There'd be burning buildings. Yeah. Well. Yeah. I mean, I'm not a fireman. <laughs> I'm just I I don't even play one on television. I just know that this you know. stuff. 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 All right. Well, we are out of time. All right. Mm. I thank you for being here. Thank Chavi, you so thanks much. You for being thank here. you so much brother. for coming in. Thank you, my dear, for having me. Thank you. Mwah. And uh, check us out at a venue near you um, and support live music. This is it's a great show. Uh, Paradise so is great. Bobby Lacerra. Um, you know, Strong Island Television, and just keep Ooh. supporting live music on Long Island. That's it's right. It's important. If you don't have a gig, go out and see your friends, because that's what keeps it going, and that's what it's all about. Thank you, guys. All right, we'll all see right, you next, next week. week. Chasing Fruit Loops. See you next week.